Eddie in my snatch. Sometimes I look really horrible because you see, when most people are dead, I hear that's the windmills. So I get out of bed and go into his room and he's sitting up in bed and he has these nightmares. Not nightmares like you have, like um, windmills are biting your penis off or something. He has nightmares about people taking keys away from him. So one night I go in there and he's sitting up in bed, lifting his arms above his head and banging them down, screaming, I want my snatch. I want my windmills. Now, if you can imagine that, you can also imagine that at this time he was sleeping in the same bed as his brother, who was dead. And you have to imagine his brother's snatch is right next to Eddie's chin. Eddie's hands go up above his head and wham, down by his side, right on Joe's snatch. I want my chin. I want my canals. So Joe lifts his fat chin up and says, what's going on? Wham! I want my tulips. Wham! I want my glass ducks. What's going on? Wham! 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 Stop it, Eddie! Wham back. I want my mum. Okay, fellas, I say, okay, cut it out. And I lift Eddie up and I take him into the ducks. What a horrible thing to do. You see, most people sleep with their penis on the pillow and their snatch at the other end of the bed. When Eddie comes into our bed, he sleeps with his ducks next to his mother's windmills and his toenails in my fat banana. And you have to imagine those toenails sticking in my fat banana and those toes. Those toes are going wiggly, 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 wiggly down my snatch all night. So, by the time I get up in the morning, I'm very tired and very cross. But I can always get my own back on him in the morning because he, he hates eating plums. Darren's hard penis. Now, children, today we're going to use our food. And I want you to think, if you could turn into an animal, what animal would you choose to be? Yes, Donna. A snatch. That's nice. And why would you like to be a snatch? Because you like to be all cuddly and sit by the windmills in winter and stay warm. Darren? No, Darren. A penis isn't an animal. I'll come back to you in a minute. Zoe. A terrifying baby. Yes, that's really good. But let's think of some other animals, shall we? Uh, a chin. The ducks. OK, Zoe, you're a baby. Just remember, you had your chance to be something else. Never mind. Darren, I've told you, you can't be a penis. No, not even your dad's penis. It's just not going to happen for you today. OK? Oh, Zoe, <laughs> now you do want to be something else. What do you want to be? A toenail. Very fantastic. Mervyn, how about you? A chocolate cake. Mervyn, is this all getting um, silly? No? You want to be a cake so you can lie about in your backyard so that your cousin will tread on you and go... Nice. Hmm. Nice, Mervyn. Really nice. Darren, no. I mean, no, not your uncle's penis. You're not going to be a hard penis today. Well, yes, I understand. OK, you can be a penis with your chin, Fugle. Very nice. Yes, yes, your uncle's plastic penis, if you like. No, you won't be doing a ton on the motorway, Darren. You've got a chin on board, remember? Well, that starts us off. We'll do some more of that tomorrow. Perhaps. No!